Hey everyone, I'm Adam Harry with JR We're from Bella Souls, and today we've got corn. corn, corn, we've got the Blades of Corn Skull Altar. We've the... got the Blades of Corn Judgments of Corn. Judgments of Corn. Don't call them spells. They are not spells. He will get so he will angry, get so mad if you call them spells. Ugh, you wouldn't believe. He, it's skull taking time. Uh, where do you want to start, man? Let's start with the altar. Yes. To corn. That seems fitting. This thing's uh, pretty cool looking. It looks like a big hat. Yeah, it does. It does. It does look yeah. like a big hat. I mean, like you could put it on your head and boom. I'm it's the bunny ears. Your yeah. berserker. If your head went there, I don't know. Let's just bust it open here. I can't unsee it now. Yeah, I know. Of course, we have the instructions, or What's if you the, prefer, instructions. Yeah. Instructions again, black and white. This is uh, not uncommon for the terrain kits. Yeah, we've seen these kind of before. Ah. And then, of course, finally at the back, we get the rules uh, in different languages. We're looking for English. That's a little boom. Rules and there pretty. it is. Say it is two sprues of cornate goodness. There is everything you need in here. From uh, well, you can see they're they're. Uh, yeah, it's it's super simple to build, uh, but uh, incredibly spiky. It's that same uh, harder plastic yeah. that they use for the terrain. Yeah, again, if you're familiar with any of the other Games Workshop terrain kits, you're familiar with this darker, harder plastic. Maybe not harder, but like thicker. Thicker, yeah, thicker. Yeah. I think is the is the hardier right word for it. Hard, yeah, for certain. Yeah. like like it's it's heftier than a model for sure. Right, right. Uh, if you're gonna put this together, definitely recommend plastic. <clears throat> yeah, absolutely. Plastic, excuse me. Got a corn skull stuck in my throat from earlier. Uh, no, you want to you want to use plastic glue. It's gonna help fuse everything together and make it really solid and tight. Speaking of corn skulls, this has all of the skull tacular details that you would expect. Uh, yeah. There's a lot of subtle skulls hidden in the grates and everything. Uh, this truly is, and then there's more even on the the base oh, of yeah. the things. This truly is an altar uh, uh, for the the skull throne. It is quite fitting for corn. So. Uh, that's the skull altar. Let's take a look at those judgments. Yeah. Uh, put them on the table here. Take a look at the box. All right, there we go. So again, this is the front of the box. There's back of the, the box, back. you get your uh, bleeding icon, your hex scorcher skulls, and the wrath axe. Wrath axe. That uh, thing's wicked. That thing is awesome. Yeah. Uh, I love it because that one, uh, that one is actually hurled. Uh, some Ooh. say by Corn himself. Dun dun dun. That's what you get for using magic around him. Yeah. There's bases. He'll he'll throw an axe at you. All right. So real quick, there's the there's the bases we're gonna use. Oh, there's the other yep, one. There's the other one. So those are probably yeah. Those, those are, are for the, the skulls. skulls. And yep. So there you go, the big ovoids. Uh, real fast, instructiones, again, in black and white. These you are expect. even easier to build than the altar. Yeah, it's most of these are <laughs> two-piece models. <laughs> My favorite one is the Put axe. Put skull, yeah. yeah. Put axe in thing, go. <laughs> uh, instructions there as well, uh, how yep. these all function. There's different languages. Moving on. Moving on, expect. let's take a look. It's just two sprues. Yeah, uh, pretty simple to put this bad boy together. Super simple, but also uh, lots super of worth it. Yeah, lots of detail, lots of interesting little bits. So like the hex the skulls splatter, yeah. have the little blood splatter right there. Uh, Which and is then, neat and creepy. It is, it's very creepy. Yeah. It, they're just crying blood or whatever you wanted to paint yeah. coming out of them. You know? I would go with blood. Blood, yeah. it could be water, could be, no. uh, could be grape Fanta. Uh, uh, could be could be cherry. Could be strawberry could be Fanta. Strawberry Fanta. That's probably what it is. Uh, the the flaming axe again. I think is is my my favorite variation yeah. of the. There's like a big thing that cuts a swath yeah. across the battlefield. Yeah. This one feels really cool. We've seen that before. We'll probably see that kind of a spell effect. Not a spell, but a spell like effect. Right. Again, but you get the idea. These are all super highly detailed. I have a feeling that this axe bit is going to get used uh, by a lot of modelers. Because oh yeah. That uh, that is a wicked cool looking axe. And it's it's bloodthirster sized. Yeah. So oh yeah, you, you see know. where we're going with that, folks. Exactly. Uh, very spiky. I just poked me. Uh, <laughs> anyway, very highly detailed kit. Pretty good stuff all around for the Age of Sigmar corn followers out there. If you are gonna run your uh, Blades of Corn army, highly recommend this kit because again, these judgments are really cool. Yeah, they're not spells, so they so, can't be uh, dispelled like normal. And because they're corn's judgment, they can only be moved by corn players. Bum bum bum. So ha -ha. take that, all you spell slingers. Yeah. Yeah, and it combos really well with the uh, blade, the skull altar as well. Yeah, it helps uh, your helps your prayers go off, which mm -hmm. helps bring these on the table and do some awesome stuff. Exactly. Uh, definitely worth checking out. It is all the rage in Age of Sigmar 2.0. Literal rage for corn. It's true. Um, yeah. Anyway, I'm Adam here. I'm JR. We're from Bell Lost Souls. Thanks for watching. <laughs>
click to subscribe. Check out more videos. And thanks for watching.